So these, I want to bolt them to the side at the end there, but they're straight, so I have to bend them. But to do that, I need to know how far they need to move over. Unsurprisingly, a lot harder than the last time I did something like this. bridge the gap because I'm not doing it. In fact, it, it kind of did the opposite. It's like <laughs> I was bending it this way, hitting it this way, and it, yeah, it's very, I guess the inertia was just, the inertia of this end meant that it wasn't going to fold. <laughs> it's like the opposite of what I was aiming for. So I'm going to have to get some, some blocks. So fast. I mean, I, I, I remember it taking a lot longer than this. That's the other language I speak. secret language. It's amazing how often you run into this problem. All I need to do is uh, drill some holes and screw those into place, but nope, too tight. <laughs> Gotta use the weird long extender bendy thingy. I'm glad I had it. Thanks, folks. So I'll be here all week. The holes are lined up. No, that's encouraging. A lot of this, you know, like you, you don't need to see, but it, when you watch a lot of videos, uh, they're great, you know, they're short, uh, they don't take that long, but you don't get the impression of how many little steps there are between the things. You, you see the exciting big bits and then all this crap, which actually takes up most of the time. <laughs> you don't realize. This is an example of how stupidly lazy I can be. I'd rather struggle trying to cut it off in place than uh, undo the work uh, that I'd just done of screwing some things in. <laughs> oh, an idiot. So much happening, just so interesting, so captivating. 
What are these things that are happening? Ah, we don't know. It's, must be important. I mean, it's all important. What I what I cut out is all the times I'm just standing there thinking about things and it's wasting so much time. Dave came to help me. Oh my god, that guy just grabbed his own ass. Thank you, Dave. The batteries are pretty heavy, they're like 100 pounds each. And uh, I could just see myself uh, dropping one in the ocean. <laughs> I was gonna take your camera off to film you this way, but I couldn't figure out how to get it off. <laughs> oh, they're heavy. Look at how they bent the water. Look at how they bent it. Actually, it was already, it was already uh, like oh that. <laughs> if you're building one of these, you need to put a an angle on this, a sort of sloped angle, so the batteries can get in. I mean, I figured it out, but it's kind of a pain. It would be real easy if if the top there had just the corner cut off, as you can see. Lift the back end. My fingers don't become permanently. Well, I can help you with this. Like the wibbly? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh. The boat's moving uh, side to side. <coughs> Yeah, used to, doesn't it? Okay, well, this isn't gonna... Okay. And this is, uh... Real dark. If we both grab this thing, we probably can lift it up enough. There we go, good day. Sure glad that you helped me there. I thought getting on the boat was going to be the hard part. Oh, but uh, theory, I should have put the uh, positives on first, but oh well, nothing exploded, so I got away with it. Don't look at that through hull. It's this is this is not a problem. Nothing to see here. This is, it doesn't might not look like it, but this is the exciting part. I'm very excited right now. I'm just holding it in. Green light. Contact are gone. That's promising. Uh, and the thing is turning. Wow. There's still more to do. The anticlimactic part. These wires need to be wired up to the wheel up there. I don't know. How am I going to do that? I guess I'll figure it out. That's what I've been doing all along. Originally, this video and the one that comes afterwards were going to be one video, but I split them in two because they were just too long. Now, the one after this will be a test of the boat. And that will be exciting. I'm going to do that in a couple of days. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe.